Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, today I'm joined by my cat, Binky, as we continue to watch Germany and her allies, as including us, try to struggle against the Commune of France, Denmark, and various other individual countries. Cool. So, of course we're playing still as the Kingdom of Ukraina, and Slava Ukraini to all of you out there. So... Let us continue. It is January 27th, 1940. We're still not really engaging in the war very much. And that's all part of my plan. I know, I know. We haven't really done too much in terms of warfare. But my cat keeps bothering me. And that's probably why. Right, Bink? Cool. So, it looks like we have another division out from somewhere. Our upgrades are very terrible right now. But that's totally fine with me. Yeah, Bink? You okay? Do you want something? Here. Come on, Bink. Over here. You want something, Bink? My cat likes to keep bothering me a lot, but the show must go on. Cool. Um, so we got a lot of manpower. Germany continues to kill itself. Over Denmark. Because they like to suicide into the line. I just hope to God that Germany can hold its own line. Once they've suicided enough, um, the Germans still should have enough man up. Oh, so I have a little bit less than a million manpower. You guys have about a million, about an equal number of divisions. Ah oh, man, I, I really, really hope that the Germans do not continue to suicide their lines into the ground, because that will prove to be very disastrous for all of us. Where have you been? Yeah, come on, come on, Bing, sit down, calm down. All right, so. Not bad. Really, my goal is just defense. De defend, 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 defend. That is the most important thing to do as we kind of watch and wait to see what Russia will do. I'm really concerned about what Russia is going to do, especially with their European direction. Yes, they sent volunteers to everyone here, but it's going to be very dicey to see or say what Russia will do. What they do after European direction will be extremely interesting because they might go to war with Finland. They might just go to war with Finland. Or, they could intervene in the Second Weltkrieg, which is what I am trying to prepare for, as well as buy state bonds in White Ruthenia. Also, I have a cup of coffee here. It's very warm, and I am really enjoying it because it's quite chilly where I live right now. Cool. So, monarchy was restored in Greece. Awesome, I guess. What are they? They're social conservative. They're fighting the Poles. Basically, the Dona Adriabund, as well as Bulgaria. Ooh, hello, Netherlands. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, I'm out of con... Ooh, I'm out of con, boys. Um, let's fix that. I don't need much. But I need some steel. Still no con, boys. Three a day. Um, is that a good enough change? I do need at least a few convoys. So I can get some more supplies in. I'm really, really out of steel, but I don't want to give up any more of my factories right now. At least until I finish this one factory. So that'll be good. Right now, not bad. We're doing Thunder and Lightning for more bonus superior firepower doctrines. The Entente is at war with the Third International, so that's good as well. But right now, our war is not going very well because Germany keeps killing its own manpower off. Brazil's lost quite a few guys. It's not looking good for the Reichspact, my friend. Not looking good whatsoever. Especially concerning the Commune of France. They've not lost relatively that much compared to Germany and the rest of them. Actually, do you have air superiority over here? You know what? What's the point of me killing my own planes off if we should do this first? Really, that's probably the most important thing to do. Make sure we get at least air superiority. Maybe then they could push over the line, but... Germany. Germany, please. Okay, trick us in. The Turkestan Khanate joined the Great Khanate. Actually, that's really good. Because now they're connected with Mongolia. They're connected with Tibet. Which means that this is a much stronger faction. Well, at least a little bit stronger. When they have to go to war with Russia. Now, they take out all of that. That's not going to be good. But will Roman von Ungern Sternberg go to war with Russia themselves? That is the most pressing question for me. Ooh. Yeah, well, good, yay. Socialist Republic of Honduras was taken out. Very, very good. 
We don't need the Tibetans anymore. Ooh, sounds like Chinese stuff. Time to end King Rule. King Rule. Strike at the Cossacks. Strike at the, at the Ka -ka Caucasus. Reclaim Persia. Is there any way he can go to war with Russia? That's Air Force stuff. People want non-aggression pacts. I'm fine with that. Alliance. Alliance. Try to ally. It looks like it should be here if they go to war with them, but maybe not. Maybe Mongolia can claim German colonies. Okay. <clears throat> Destroy legation cities, but it doesn't look like there's a way for them to go to war. Oh, there it is. Restore the eastern borders, of course. They need to own a lot more Chinese territories before they can do that, which probably won't happen. But, uh, this... Oh, goodness gracious. They got invaded. And they took a port. That's really, really not good. Uh, well, at least the Entente's at war with these guys, which is good. I don't know if I'll be able to hold the line against the Russians, especially if we have no radar, actually. We finished the thing up. Let's get some radar over here. That actually might be good to build, just so that we can see enemies' divisions. Oh, uh, Russia, what are you doing? Enter, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh boy, Don Kuban Union is a puppet of the Russian Empire. Okay. No need to for alarm. No need for alarm. Oh my goodness. Um, I need another division out. We got a good stockpile of stuff. Give me more divisions. That's really not good. That's really, really not good. <clears throat> They'll go to war pretty soon. They don't have a lot of manpower because they're probably creating a ton of divisions. But the Don Kuban Union has now back, basically backstabbed us. Led by Maxim Udenich. Oh. Okay, you just finished the thing. Good. I guess. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little worried. I am a little worried. Especially, I was not expecting the Don Kuban Union to join Russia. But that, if we take him out, that just means that we will claim all this territory for ourselves. No doubt about it. The Fangqing government declared war on Qing. Wait. Oh, there they are. Up there. Oh, that makes sense. <clears throat> uh, Germany, I will join you very soon. I'm not exactly... I don't think I'm... I'm not exactly ready yet. I will join you very soon, but I cannot join you. Oh, this is a major concern. This is a huge concern. Germany, you have to stop attacking. You gotta stop attacking. Uh, resources, we need more guns. Oh, boy. Oh, that's good, then. The Turkestan Khan declared war on the Russian Empire. Now the, now the Russians will be on a two-front war, just like us. We are on a three-front war, but even though I haven't joined the war just yet. So, like I said in the previous videos, my goal is to crush the Lithuanians soon. Let these guys border with Germany first, and then I'm going to come in from the north. But I have to wait. I have to, have to, have to wait before I can do that, because I don't have enough divisions on the front. I don't want to do this, but I need to get in the war... Pretty soon. Actually, pretty much right now, I, th I believe. Because then we have a pretty good chance to hold the line against the Russians and take out the Lithuanians, which aren't doing so well themselves. So, I hate doing this. I hate bringing out divisions early. But I'll do what I must. Now, who's down here? What army group is this? It's purple. It's under you. Give me half of you guys. Can you come over here? Two more divisions. Uh... So I gave him three, so that's one, two. Uh, that'll be good. And then a third division. I guess, you know what? Throw me one here. Give me another one over here. I'm not joining anything right now. They joined the Senate Coalition. Oh, we lost a couple convoys from... Where? Getting that from them. Thunder and Lightning, that's good. Uh, what else can we do? Ukrainian Air Force... Air experience double, or a single 100% research bonus for air doctrine, support artillery, guns. Let's go with guns. Gun, guns are always good to get. Um, who am I getting stuff from? Because I need a limit. I don't want my convoys to get sunk. I'm importing stuff from Ireland. 39% from the Netherlands. Delivery efficiency is... The Kingdom of Spain... 
Um, looks like Ireland is actually the worst one right now. Oh, no, no, it's Spain. Go ahead and modify incoming lend lease. I don't, I can't. I don't want to lose any convoys because that costs stuff. All right. It looks like they're actually advancing on the front, which is nice. But I need to wait first. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm playing very extremely carefully, as you can tell. Because if you make a mistake, it's all over. Because Germany right now is making a huge mistake by constantly attacking. Looks like they have some Austrian divisions there to help out, but it's a massive mistake for Germany to keep attacking, so that's why I cannot make my own mistakes. Military staff. <clears throat> well, I'm going to be careful here. I want to be very careful, so I'm going to go with division defense as well as supply consumption. That'd be good, probably. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not ready yet because I'm missing a few things here. I need at least every single province covered. Oh boy. And I was worried about something like that. Alright, well, this front line is probably going to move a whole bunch. I'm really, yeah, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it, not yet. I have to have more divisions on the front. Is anyone ready yet? Um, give me you two. I need you two over here. I need you both down here. I should have actually deployed them down here, but whatever. Whatever. You know, things happen. At least they won't be able to advance on my front right now. How is this war going? Mongolia and the Turkestan Khanate. I'm glad at least Russia has a two-front war. And I haven't done anything around this, but that's okay. Because once these guys are gone, that'll be great. That'll be great. It really looks like they don't have enough divisions on their border. But neither do I. Neither do I. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Get over there. Like, I'd rather just... You move faster than that. you got to move faster. They cancel the third lend lease. I'm sorry, Cuba. I'd love to take your supplies, but... It ain't going to work out, dog. You know what? This is... You take it, this is taking a little bit long to get down there. Oh, I even have holes up here. That's not good. I, I can't go to war yet, because there's holes all around the line. Because Don Kuban Union, Ravi Bink, decided to become Russia's puppet, which was a terrible thing for them. Now, they can take care of this themselves. That means we have an extra army that we can attach to our front line. Now, I wasn't hoping that this would end up the way it is, just because I needed Poland to join us, or me, for me to take out Poland, but yeah, that didn't happen, obviously. Give me a little bit of time. Can I go to war with Lithuania? Uh, I don't think I can. Declare September 8th as National Day. Grain and Steel. They still have a lot of manpower. That's good to see. That's good. Actually, before we do anything else, let's check. Lithuanian War of Independence. Okay. They've not lost very much at all. But I'm really concerned about the 37th Bi Siamese Burmese War. How is the war going between... Uh, Russia and the Turkestan Khanate and stuff like that. I'm the only one in the Reichsbach not at war, which is good. German Russian War. Where is it? Um, Romanian Greek War. Cameroonians. I can't find it. Oh, maybe they're not at war with them. I was pretty sure that they were, yeah. Mongolian War on Russian Empire. Mongolian War on Russian Empire. I don't see it in here. I would like to see how many losses you have. German-Danish war. But, you know what? I guess not. I'll check one last time. Nope. Alright. So be it. So be it. They canceled their lend lease. That makes sense for them. Alright, guys. Come on. I know I will join the war soon enough. I need you down here. I need you down here. I need you down here. Ah, uh, our finest hour. British politician and former Lord of the Admiralty, Winston Churchill, has published a new book, part of an emerging genre known as alternate history and concerning the Great War. Where, where the heck are you going? Uh, look at all, look at these holes that we have in our line. I can't do anything about that. 
What's gonna, uh, we'll see what happens, though. The story takes the perspective of a young British soldier returning from a victorious Gallipoli campaign amid a world radically different from our own. In this timeline, Theodore Roosevelt and his Bull Moose Party win the 1912 presidential election rate. Presidential elections, leading to an American entry into the Valkyrie and an Entente victory. A defeated and partially occupied Germany is gripped by constant economic and political crisis, witnesses the defeat of the whites in the Russian Civil War, and is cooed by a bitter and extremely nationalist Adam Dressler. He leads a German Workers' Party who follows the ideology of people's socialism, an extreme version of national populism. The novel ends with the beginning of a three-sided war between Dressler's New Reich, the Western Entente led by a dominant British Empire, and a Soviet Russia led by Sergei Kirov. The book has divided critics, with some praising its attention to detail, while others criticize it for large flaws in historical logic. Churchill has commented that something like this could have happened in another universe, and what a childish fantasy. Ooh, the Netherlands actually did something and invaded up here. You know what, screw it. I'm tired of waiting. The only way we're going to get through this faster is if I actually manually control this stuff. Alright guys, go right ahead. You need to take all these guys out, because when you do, that'll make things quite a bit easier. Put the pressure on Lithuania, they won't be able to hold up. I'm like you. I'm I'm tired of just waiting for this. Mongolia, sure. Um, good. We can actually shorten our line already. Wait, was there a division on our left coming from somewhere? Um, if we're going to extend our line, we're going to come this way. Good. You guys come down here. The southern front. We're probably going to get started. Start getting attacked, which isn't good. We're getting attacked by three divisions over here, which is very unpleasant. Uh, but I have holes in all my line, which is honestly one of the worst things I could have done. If I have to lose a little bit of territory, so be it. Things happen. The Don Kuban Union can go die. I'll let you know that. Um, they don't have a lot of manpower, which is good. So we really need to finish up this Lithuanian stuff as fast as possible. So, I mean, yeah, we'll lose a little bit of, of land, perhaps. But nothing too extreme. Wait, why is... Why does... That happened. It should be a nice little fresh front line, but it's not doing that for me. Interesting. Interesting. Um, for our field marshal, give me a defensive doctrine right now. That's what I need the most. Lithuania must be crushed. Must be crushed. And yes, I'm going to be losing parts of Donbass, the Donbass region, but it's a necessary evil. It's an absolutely necessary... Please do not attack that direction. Please. If anything, you can actually start... Retreat for now. You do not need to move. You can actually move this way to help cover the line. Because right now we're going to do some sort of tactical retreat. In which... We're going to have to give up some territory. And make sure that the enemies pay for it. Um, actually, I think I see what happened there. There we go. There's a little bit of that. I clicked a wrong button. Kind of normal for me, but whatever. I really hate how this looks, but that's okay. Please. Revy Bink, you're just kind of sitting there, kind of waiting for things to happen. Simon Petelira. Petelira. Please hurry up and take Vilnia. That would be great. That would be phenomenal, as we are struggling with our front line. But it looks like our allies might have almost made an encirclement. Interesting. If I could take out any singular Russian division, that would be great. Oh, we are getting attacked like crazy all over the place. And that's not good. You. I doubt my guys really have any sort of upgrades. Um, convoys. I think we got enough convoys for now. 36. I know it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Come on, guys. Take out Vilna. Capitulate these stupid Lithuanians so I can add more divisions to the front line because we need it, baby. Ooh, we definitely, definitely need to take out Lithuania. Oh, we took Vilna. They've capitulated. We're going to throw on 13 more divisions here. This is actually going to help out, hopefully, quite a bit. Nice, and we actually encircled a singular Russian division. Hopefully the first of many. And I need you to go ahead up right there. My goal is to defend, defend, defend. Oh. If I lose Sevastopol, that won't be the first time in history that we've learned we've lost Sevastopol. Uh, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure that we are at least relatively okay. Cool. Hmm... I'll take whoever is capable or ready to learn or whatever, ready to fight, no matter what happens. Even if you're, like, not really that great, I'm still going to take you and use you. That's right. You attack me with your divisions, you might win. You might not win. Um, pull this division out because we're going to lose here. Uh, 
Give him a little bit more of a boost right now. Do not move. I need this division to retreat immediately. You need to hold the line as fast as possible right now. The game is kind of laggy, not going to lie. We might not need to move. Good, we don't need to move. Good, just stay put. Stay put. Losses right now, 19,000. Not good. We definitely need to mobilize more men. But, Don Kaban Union, they've lost not a lot either. Crap. My goal is just to defend. We'll see what happens, of course, but with the addition of 13 more divisions on the front line, that does help. That really does help. Even though Germany isn't doing super well, it looks like the Third International has definitely landed in different places. Yes, I'll take some stuff. Mm, I would love artillery, but I can't afford that. And I'll take it from you just because the chances of them sinking my stuff is hopefully quite a bit lower. Anyways, I forgot about this. Our fleet. Our small, small fleet. Convoy Raiding Black Sea. Um, I'm going to go take one of you guys, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do Convoy Raiding over here, too. So this way they have some cover, and they can defend themselves. Hopefully adequately. Alright. Yeah, they're attacking pretty hard. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, you still have last stand, so you've got more defense. But... They're going to suffer extremely hard for this. Which is really quite unfortunate. They will almost literally perish. So, go ahead and do that. Just, I can't lose that division. Please don't die. Please don't... Okay, they didn't die. They almost died. Holy crap. Um, Germany, can I have some resources? I, I would gladly take some resources right now. They've definitely pushed us a little bit. Oh, but the Germans are coming in on this front. That's good. That's good. Even though they're not doing so well on this front. But they are getting attacked now. They are now getting attacked. And the French... At least, it's probably the French... Yeah, a lot of the French, maybe some of the Union of Britain people are starting to attack. The Netherlands is doing a great job invading Norway. I'm really surprised. The Finns are now not doing too bad themselves, even though my lines are faltering. Because I don't have enough divisions, I don't have enough equipment, we don't have enough of anything. Pretty normal Ukrainian situation. But I can remedy, remedy some of our production. Do that. Tungsten. Um... I'll take some from you guys, if I can. Give me at least one thing of that. Produce, produce, produce. Ireland, I did this earlier. I can't exactly do that now because I don't want my convoy sunk. I'm going to let Germany do most of the pushing just because we cannot afford to do it right now. We just cannot. My goal in this war is to just defend. Defend, defend, defend. And if the Germans can push, as well as our allies, great. And right now, you guys can push and take some territory. That'll be a good morale booster. Now, I'm hoping that the Austrians are capable of joining the war as well. I hope that they get an event to call them in. That could be very, very useful. But overall, even though we've lost a little bit of our own territory, don't... Oh, goodness gracious, do not attack. Do not attack. Please do not attack. You have nowhere near the strength that you need to attack. The Don Kaban Union, the Cossacks, have backstabbed us, like I said earlier. But uh, we're going to treat them very harshly when the war is over. Oh, there goes the Kingdom of Sight, and that's a thick Indo-Chinese Union. That's not good. The Syndicalists are still trying to attack two Sicilies. The Entente has made no gains into the Commune of France. Um, other than that... And me finishing up my coffee. The only thing that's really happened is that we've joined the war, and we've lost a little bit of territory. The North is actually not doing bad at all, because that's where most of the German soldiers are, and they don't like to help the Ukrainians in the South, and that's why we might have to backstab them in the future. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, this is definitely not the way I wanted to play the Ukraine. I was hoping that we could maybe get into war a little bit earlier, I could get maybe a puppet, because that's the easiest way to play the Ukraine, or Ukraina. But, you know, we take it for whatever it is. Go ahead and help attack there. If you can help push them, that'd be great. Oh, we sunk seven... Convoys, that's good. You don't... Actually, don't mind attack there. Yeah, keep attacking. They won't be able to hold you there. This way we can at least say that, hey, we took some of your own territory, you piece of garbage. You piece of trash. I don't know what they're doing with their divisions, but I'm going to take as much land as I can back. A strong defense is what I need. Very strong defense. These guys have a little bit of artillery, not much on them. How's Denmark doing? They're not doing anything over there. Actually, the Danes broke over the strait. Uh, uh, Germany, why? Ooh, Lessons of the Great War, nice. Oh, yeah, we definitely have to do another bonus for land doctrine with 
lessons of the interwar, a number of wars had happened between the pro proclamation of our independence in 1918, Russia, China, Central America, Africa, and Brazil. Now is the time we must rethink the lessons of these campaigns that can teach us to understand our own army's failings and possible remedies so we can get to a reorganized army to remove Hetman's army, which will give us more population, more recruitable population factor, as well as division recovery growth, because that all is extremely important. What the heck are you doing? Wh Why Ruthenia? I know, encirclements are great, but you're stretching out my line to the point where I can't hold the line. Why? Why must you do this to me? Ooh, I might be able to do another small encirclement and get an airbase over here. Ooh, please pleasure me that way. Ooh, that was weird. That was a really weird thing for me to say, but whatever. Oh, nope, I guess I cannot. That's unfortunate. They put some divisions over there. They saw their own hole. That's something else weird to say. They saw their own hole, but whatever. Oh my goodness, please do not... Attack. That's actually maybe not a terrible thing if I can encircle one division here. If I can encircle one division, they're very well entrenched. But if I can do this, then we can take out one more division. Yes, it's it's only one division. But it's still one division that we can take out. We are winning there, kind of. The north has kind of slowed down, but we haven't gone that far into the game. Yeah, it looks like we might be able to destroy at least one more enemy division. Now, they got a lot of divisions. They got a lot of crap done of manpower. I think they're still mobilizing. But how is this war going over here? The Mongolians are holding out fairly strong, which is great. You know... Uh-oh. Oh, the Indo-Chinese Union is probably going to go to war with... Oh, they released the Siam People's Democratic Republic. All right. Indo-Chinese Union. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're probably going to go to war with the German East Indies. But whatever. All right. For us, next... Get some more decryption, encryption, and stuff like that. That's going to be the most important. We're starting to lose a battle down here, but that's pretty much expected because they're attacking with 13 divisions against my one. So to see that we're actually holding out very, very well, it's kind of a surprise. A little bit of surprise, but whatever. The f oh, the Petrograd has fallen. The great Russian city built by Peter the Great. We're almost linked up with the Finns, which is awesome. Captured today, though. Norwegian Union has capitulated to the Netherlands. Russian defenders initially held back the Finnish army across the Neva River, but a few days ago those positions finally fell. Now sustained cannon fire on Bas Veselivinsky Island has put the last defenders out of their misery. Terrible. Absolutely terrible, but really, that's a great thing. That's actually a really, really great thing. The Germans stopped attacking in the West, which was the greatest move that they could have done so far. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, we're engaging some... Cossacks, or maybe not even Cossack convoys. These are Argentinian convoys, which is awesome. Looks like they've stopped attacking in the south for now, which is great. I, Why are you stretching out my front line? <laughs> no, please don't stretch out my front line. Uh, are you still... We might have done an encirclement. We might not have. Oh, man. Actually, if we could do this here... We might be able to do another encirclement. That could be very, very beneficial for us. We've landed over here, and we have four divisions, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If they try to attack, I hope they try to attack, we might be able to hold that position indefinitely. They've lost two convoys out of 31. Not what I was hoping, but, you know, I'll take whatever I can get at this point. It looks like we are winning over here, which means this one division will die, which will be great. Yeah. Really, you can't play the Ukraine without some serious help from the rest of the Reichspact. Which is why I'm not going to backstab them for a while. Awesome. Admit, just go ahead and destroy this one division here. It looks like the Germans push these guys back. The Netherlands has colonized a new part of Europe. Oh, and these guys are getting attacked like crazy, which is... Oh, no, they're attacking. Flanders, please, Flanders. And Flanders Fields, please. Also, I do remember I have my planes here, but I'm not going to move them since they seem to be winning. But even though, eh, you know what? Give me you. I could better use you over here. If I'm going to put my planes anywhere, I'm going to put them in one singular place so that at least they have a chance to maybe get rid of enemy air support and stuff. Oh, there's a hole here. That's not good. But, th oh, they are attacking down here, which is interesting to see. Now, four divisions against 18, and they're attacking over a river. Could be good. Might not be best for us. But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Um, no upgrades yet, which is fine. Oh, we actually won. Yevon Konovalets. You're doing a great job. Great job. 
Oh, they're attacking down in the south again. Some locations probably will not be able to be held. But I'm kind of expecting that anyways. If we can defend across the river, that obviously would be for the best. As the Germans and some of us and our allies have been able to actually make an encirclement here. Thank you, Germany. This is what we really, really needed here. I um, can't believe I'm somewhat praising the AI, the German AI, which, you know, loves to kill itself. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, there's a, this, is, this is a struggle. I might not be fully awake. Actually, I am fully awake. I'm just not finding the right words to say right now. But this could be going a lot, lot worse. Much, much worse than before. Ooh, Spain. Uh, a convoy for two artillery pieces. Uh, it's only one convoy. If I lose a single convoy, that's... That's okay. That's okay. Just hold the line, my boys. Hold the line. You're fighting all for a very good cause. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and come this direction, which means... You guys might get taken out. Good. We're still holding the line very well over here. Oh, we're finding some enemy... Some more Argentinian convoys. Very good. They're still trying to strike us down here. Losses so far. We've lost 69,000 Ukrainian boys. It's terrible. I know. It's terrible. But we're... Inflicting another number of casualties on the enemy. So, combined, we're doing okay against... We're doing pretty much equal against the Russians as well as the Cossacks. Those goddamn Cossacks. Um, come, da come down here. Don't worry about moving. Actually, you need to come down here because you need to come down here to help hold the line. I can't afford to lose that line as we are doing okay with encirclements here. Oh, endo Chinese Union is justifying against us. Thank God. I'm glad at least... Even though the Japanese didn't go to war with the Russians, at least the Mongolians are. How are the Mongolians holding up? Manpower's very good, pretty good, actually. Divisions are pretty good. Turkestan Khanate's doing okay. Russia itself doesn't seem like it's doing great. Germany, as long as they can defend, they'll probably be okay. Even though they don't have enough divisions over here. They don't have enough divisions on their entire front line whatsoever. But then again, that's what happens when Germany goes to war with everyone. Ooh, regimental combat teams, very good. Support companies help us out a little bit more, even though I don't have that many support companies. We'll do mechanized offensive next, even though I have no mechanized divisions right now, and that's okay. Ooh, take this, Smolensk. Do that. You know, there's probably quite a few divisions in here. Not a ton, but there's quite a few, I would imagine. I will end the episode once this encirclement is done and dusted with. Oh, they are attacking us once again. With probably one to two divisions, which isn't ideal. Um, if I have to, come down here since they won't attack me right there. You guys are doing great. We're still getting attacked down here, draining them of their resources. And I'm going to save up my manpower right now, just so that... Or my political power, so I can get more manpower. Um, you guys... Really, the main target is here because they have a lot of supplies. Come on... If we could take that city, then all these guys will just die. That's pretty much what's going to happen. Oh, defending. We're doing okay. The Entente can't do anything like normal. How's the rest of the world going right now? Africa exploded. The Civil War here has not gone too badly, actually. The CSA is trying to expand in the PSA. The American Union has kind of solidified the front line a little bit, but they're not looking very good. We're running out of resources. We've lost a single convoy. We've found a few more Argentinian convoys, which makes us feel better, even though it's not great. Oh, and the f oh, they've started attacking the entire front. That's really, really not good. Oh, don't lose Kharkov. We have industry there that we cannot lose. We have completed the encirclement. We have completely completed the encirclement, which is awesome. Um, someone please take that territory so I can end the episode. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Roslav. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have to realign our front line now. Because we're not doing so well in our territory. The Germans really are focusing in the north and the center. But they don't give a crap about the south. Which really isn't good for any of us. But that's all the time for that we had today, guys. Uh, we just sunk 36 Argentinian convoys. We've lost a little bit of our own territory. But it's a necessary sacrifice for the greater good of this war. In which, when this war is over, I'm annexing or just puppeting all of the Cossacks. And treating them very very harshly for their backstabbing needs but anyways thank you very much for watching guys uh leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you're new check out my discord link below and i will see you tomorrow as we are going to continue struggling with the russian empire and hopefully achieving some sort of great defensive and breakthrough into their t territory
Hope you all have a great, great, tremendous day.